All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the swan song of uh, carpool karaoke. And obviously seated beside me is Mrs. Sue Matuzak, who, you know, what better way to go out than, than with the song. But, you know, before we get to the, the crux of carpool karaoke, um, you know, Sue has a few things to say. So Sue, please, without further ado. Thank you, Mr. Bumpus. My pleasure. Um, so most of you know I'm retiring uh, at the end of the school year. Um, some people, when they retire, they go out quietly. And, but that's not my style, you know that. My parents always told me, never forget where you came from and always be grateful. When I started back in January of 99, way back then, uh, I was actually a temp. Did you know that? Uh, I, I only knew that from reading your script. So. Oh, okay. Oh, I cheated a yeah, little bit. Okay. It, I was fortunate to meet and welcomed by Phil Skeldon, Barbara Wright, Margie Warwick, Fred Beyer. Did I say Sherry Bishop? You did now. Oh my gosh. Sherry Bischoff is like number one. Okay. Luckily for me, in those couple months, uh, the lady in the office was retiring. Hmm. There was a divine intervention there. I really truly is. believe God had his hand on me when he sent me to St. John's. And so they asked me if I would stay on full time. I want to say thank you to Sherry and Bob Larcher, who was the principal at the time. I was want to give a shout out to all the priests that were there at the time, um, especially Don Vatis, Father Canfield, uh, who just passed, God rest his soul, uh, Father Hussey, Father Sweeney, Father Pip, and uh, Brother Sebian, who took care of the grounds. The gal that I got to work with is Pat Kilcheski. Pat was a rule follower, <laughs> and um, I'm not really that. And no, so, you, come on. <laughs> but I also want to shout out to um, Brenda and Steve Spanoff and Paul Muller because those three started in the main office with Pat and I. Boy, I'm telling you, did we laugh a lot. It was hilarious. Quite a group. We all love Pat, um, but we, you know, were stinkers too when she had those rules and all that kind of stuff. Next is Barbara Wright. So Barbara Wright was the uh, activities director and um, I would help her do some of the spirit stuff because I just was totally into that. I wanted to be a part of that. And so we went and talked to Tim Malone. He's like, eh, of course you can do this. It's a no brainer. And from then on, you know, I was the activities director and took care of spirit. Then my first year as uh, activities director, Shane Hegde, and uh, was the class president. And that year we had a homecoming of 400 couples. Yes, there were wow. 800 kids in the Titan Dome for homecoming. But he also brought one spirit week, we were doing things and all of a sudden I look out in the hall and I see this, this green thing was next to him or behind him dancing. And that was the start of Green Man. And it was Ian Appled who was our first Green Man. And then the next year, we brought in the Titan mascot. Mm. And that was Ron Lorkey. So then um, I got the, I, I was a SNL uh, junkie. Mm. And um, I started to think about the first uh, video that we actually did was um, for Christmas. And so we had Doug Pearson, Todd Black, I think it was Brad Boyle and Steve Spenoff. That was the first of many. And I just want to thank everybody that ever said yes to me when I asked them to be in these crazy videos. And remember the Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers. You were Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, that was real early in my career. I got yeah. uh, talked into that one. I'm not real sure how that happened, but... <laughs> pretty smooth talker. I That's think. true. Yeah. Yeah. Early, early videos were edited by Greg Knopp. Correct. Shout out to you, Greg. So we did um, more cowbell. 
That was Paul Muller. Frank Carnicom was in that. Then we did Wayne's World. <laughs> and Nick Marconi, who works at Steve Taylor, was in that. Dave Harold did a lot. He's a ham. He really is. Believe it or not. Yeah, he loves that stuff. And Brendan Malone was in uh, the Blues Brothers. Let's... We did Animal House. Nothing is over until we decide it is. Yep, Jeez. Doug got to swear on TV4. Well, yeah, and we bleeped him out. Bleeped it. Back right. then, you could kind of do that. Yeah. John Douglas also, um, he played the part of uh, that Cowbell. one. The, in the cowbell, who was that other guy? Um, I did was Dickinson, I, something Dickinson. Yeah, words to Bruce. look at when they're Bruce Dickinson. By the way, my my name is Bruce Dickinson. Yes, the Bruce Dickinson. But the the real guy that played it in the Bruce. SNL skit, um, he's a real funny guy. I can't think of his name now. But anyway, so yeah, Christopher did. Walken. Yes. See, my, I'm older now, and I can't remember all this stuff. We're all older, Sue. Well. <laughs> Time not as not as older as I am. Time is linear. <laughs> oh, let's remember the happy video we did. Bring me down. Love too. So even after that, everybody was like, I'll be in one of your videos. Mm -hmm. I'll do your video. I would go to different uh, college games, football, basketball, and see what kind of ideas they did. And I'd bring them back here and try them out. Yeah, you would go days just watching YouTube videos, <laughs> not doing any work at all. <laughs> So next, I want to give a shout out to my um, Titan Angels. Now, I did have some cr crazy rally ideas too. We did a Taylor take on Taylor Swift. Um, shake it off. Shake it off. That's what they don't see. Mm -hmm. I'm on my own. On my own. We did that at a rally, and um, I just want to say thank you to Julie Fazinski. Lisa Reinbolt, Jen Saba, Joanne Savage, Jill Lipinski, Sandy Maxson, who I think Carly was part of that, Casey Hardiman, and Katie Lozar. Ka yes, she Katie. Was in it. Oh my gosh, thank you. I Moving on. Bill Happel. He made me look good. We, he. Was Doesn't take much. <laughs> you know how I get sometimes when I want something perfect. Sometimes. I would say, uh, okay, this is what I want. And he would draft it up. He's amazing. He, he's a talented uh, artist, genius, really. Right. Jack Muhart and Paul Quapic. Just a quick shout out. This is recently, we did the Dinner Under the Dome, and, and I was the only female, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna. I, but nope. Jack Muhart and Paul Quapic, they bid on me, and I was the highest bid, and they didn't leave me up on the hill. I mean, who wouldn't bet on you? Well, <laughs> and Tom Cole. TC. TC. That man never says a bad word about anybody. Never. He really doesn't. I tried to get him to once. <laughs> he is super duper. And he, he loves really St. John's. He loves St. John's. I want to shout out to the class of 2007 because that was my son's class, uh, Brian Matuzak, cl graduated in 07. Um, they're the first uh, class to start calling me Suze Matuz. Sharon Muldoon, she does a remarkable job with feeding us as faculty and staff. For Simply our, put. Uh, I want to thank uh, Gabe Gonzalez and Ryan Thompson. Uh, they're our tech guys, and boy, do I ever need tech a lot. Next is my work husband and work son, Bob Renee and Mike Schoen. They purposely every day work to pull my chain. They're needlers. But I had the pleasure to work for athletics also and um, had a lot of fun. Uh, Bill Harrison and Joe Greer. Bill Harris, Grumpy Pants. Grumpy old man. <laughs> he did just about everything I asked him. Mm -hmm. uh, and Joe Greer is the sweetest guy. I know he, he has these huge muscles and everything and he looks kind of intimidating, but he is the sweetest guy and they have gone over and above to help me out in a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So I, I really want to give him a big shout out. And then of course to 
to you, Mr. Bumpus, um, for doing this. I well, mean, who's going to drive me around and, and listen to all my stuff? And during basketball season, we had a real fun run. We were tough yeah. to. Uh, oh my gosh. Tough to think of anyone I would rather uh -huh. work with at those games. We, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. We, to the many families that have passed through the doors of SJJ, I want to say thank you for your patience with me. Um, and I have met some wonderful, wonderful people. And uh, thank you for for sending your sons to St. John's. Mm -hmm. One more. My husband, Larry, who put up with me. Oh my gosh. But he um, he just let me go. You know, he he's uh, the quiet guy, and the quiet one in the in the relationship. And I know. I mean. Anyone would be the quiet one <laughs> in a relationship with you. So. That is very true. I know that he is just can't wait to be with me. Kudos to my husband, Larry, of 42 years. All right. Well, Sue, thank you uh, very much for that. Very meaningful. Um, you're not the only one leaving us this year. There are others. Uh, one of whom I think we have ready to hop in yeah. with us here. <laughs> And here she hey. is, Hi. this is Sandy Max and hi Sandy. Sandy. So yeah, Sandy crazy. Sue just gave us a very brief uh, <laughs> rundown of all the people she wanted to thank. Is there anyone that yeah. you know you want to you want to call out individually or just do sort of a, a general yeah. farewell? Yeah, I kind of would. My stepson graduated in 1993, so we've been part of the St. John's family for a really long time. Um, I started volunteering in the spirit store when my son Russ was a freshman in 2002. I, at, while I was volunteering, I reconnected with John Brennan that had started the spirit store and oversaw everything. Things have changed through the years. We've grown, we've expanded the hours. We opened the new spirit store in 2007. We sold tickets for events where the customers got there an hour before we opened mm -hmm. and stood in lines all the way through the comments. And then back in the day when we had the house system, Greg Richard and Ron Miller had invited me to take part in that. And that was a lot of fun. I mm -hmm. had a blast. Those Claver House boys were awesome, so fun. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this year I had the pleasure of having students help me in the store. And I enjoyed every minute of that, so that was fun. I love all the moms that have helped in the spirit store. They give their time and their talents to help make St. John's an amazing place. Um, it's been a pleasure spending time with them and getting to know them. And then I really want to thank my family. They love St. John's like I do. And especially my husband, Tom. He jumped right in with me and did anything he could to help me through the years as well as helping anybody else that needed anything. Um, not only did he um, run the clock for all the home athletic events for the last 10 years, but he did amazing woodwork projects for anything anybody needed. It, it's been a great way of life for, for, for how long for you, Sandy? 19 years. 19, yes. myself 24. So yeah, you know, over the years, a lot of friends, Close friends, a lifelong friends, friends. friends. Um, and you know, with that said, uh, yeah. there, there's, I mean, there's no better song to go out on uh, than this one. So if That's you guys right. could just join me, I'd, I'd really appreciate All it. All right, let's go. Thank, Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Party invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be from me, and the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Bumpus! I forgot some people. Yeah, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be able to edit it, and uh, it'll it'll look natural. No one will be able to tell. So yeah. Okay. I could never ever forget Brad Bond, Spencer Rudd. We did tango sometimes, but we could agree to disagree, 
and then I would get my way. <laughs> Mother's Club. I've worked with some pretty awesome moms. They give up so much of their time and um, always spoiling the faculty and staff. Thank you. Sherry Bischoff, Tim Malone, Ed Heinchel, Phil Skeldon, Father Vitisse, and Carol Struckles. God knows Carol Struckles was the only one that could keep Don Vitisse where he needed to be. Barbara Wright, Fred Beyer, Doc Demarkowski, Margie Warwick, and Sharon Beyer, Shelly Jackson, Tom Cole, Mike Savona, Joe Zernicke, Dave Simmons, Tom Harms, Greg Richard, Butch Welling, Ron Miller, Andy Babula, Barb Trimble, Scott Zura, and Dan Zvoisky. He didn't want to get in this van with us. Um, he said he wanted to go out with dignity. So anyway, to Dan of his 43 years, amazing. Thank you for being a friend. Go, Go Titans! Titans!